guys uh, I haven't done this in a while um, I just need to you know get this off my chest and all this stuff but I'm very nervous for today uh, I don't know why I think I'll do well or at least do my best out there but I'm very nervous for the world tournament today um, and by me talking to the camera and talking to you guys it just I don't know I, I just I'm hoping that getting this nervousness off my chest then maybe I'll feel better you guys ever you know go to something and you know you have to do it, but you're nervous to do it, and you got like those butterflies in your chest. That's how I feel right now. And honestly, this fear, or this, the butterflies in my stomach, it ultimately just comes to, to me performing at this tournament today, and it's just all brought upon by like, nervousness about messing up or not doing well. Um, but there's really nothing I can do for that, uh, you know, I just need to get out there and do my best, and I keep telling myself that, but yet I'm still nervous. Officially, today will be my first day ever that I've ever competed in an actual tournament. I have competed in our in-house tournaments but that's just my dojo here it's like taking the biggest leap into tournament whatever it's like instead of me you know going to like an invitational or whatever where we're against it, several different schools now we're taking it up a notch instead of it just being like you know local schools we're going to a world tournament and it's from groups of people who are all around the world like india Japan and you know South America just everywhere but today I think I'll have a lot of fun um, regardless if I win or lose it doesn't really matter um, the fact that I came out and signed up walked through that door got out there and competed that's the biggest thing for me is um, you know I haven't done any tournaments, but this will be my first, like, official one. And that's just crazy. So, I guess this nervousness is not quite nerves, but it's more excitement. Wanting to do well. So, <sighs> let's go do this. <laughs> Really worried about the timing. You ready? Not really. The tournament's now starting. Something weird though is that the masters, so Sensei Benetti, my master, he's gonna be competing first. Usually it's swip like w switched, and the younger people, like all the lower belts below black belt, are starting. But now masters are starting. This is insane. <laughs> yeah, I'm on YouTube. If you look up Quinn Sawhill, Seuchin, I'm on YouTube. And now you're <laughs>
Maxie, what are you doing? Dean. Good job, buddy. There we go. Good. I've been waiting for three hours, maybe more, and I still haven't sparred, done anything. I'm getting really annoyed at this point. So, Austin finally got called after four hours of standing here waiting. He finally gets to go. It's gonna be really cool. Guys, 
back in Philly, baby. Um, the tournament was pretty fun, even though I, like, sucked at the competition. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I got the worst score for, um, hand kata, um, weapon kata, um, and in sparring, I didn't even, I couldn't even get a single point in, but I should have gotten points. Um, like, I was here, the other guy was here, this, the guy on this side, he starts charging in to come get me, and I'm here, and I just use my front leg, I'm like, kick up to his head, and it was, you know, fairly close, and um, there was a rule in the competition that there was going to be like a four inch halo kind of zone around the head that if you got within that, it would count. Um, I guess they were looking for more contact, but there was also a rule saying that you couldn't do contact to the head or face or I guess excessive contact. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't do well in sparring either. So it was kind of a big bummer, um, but we did pretty well. We got a couple first place trophies, and I think everybody except for me ended up walking away with the trophy, so that was pretty cool. And then after the competition, I ran back to the hotel and grabbed all my things from my friend's room who I stayed in last night, and then we headed back here to Philly, and I asked my mom to pick up this pizza from this place called Lorenzo's and, or Lorenzo and Sons Pizza and they make the biggest pieces of pizza like this whole piece this is a whole piece right here and it's like bigger than my entire face it's insane but um I saw that pizza back in a a YouTube video like a long time ago and then of recent from this guy who, I, who basically got me into YouTube his name is Jesse Wellens but um, his channel used to be like prank versus prank or PvP and uh, and then they had another channel when he and his girlfriend were still dating uh, called um, BF versus GF and basically they just pulled pranks on each other and other people, and it was a great thing. But they lived here in Philly, and they went to that pizza place, and I was like, damn, that pizza's, like, massive. I got to try that sometime. So luckily I was able to check that off the bucket list as well, and uh, pizza was pretty good. So if you ever come out to Philly, I, I recommend going to Lorenzo's. But to be honest, I barely finished one slice of pizza because it was so much food so you might just want to order one slice of pizza <laughs>